Welcome to the era of AI. Hello and welcome. In this lecture, I'd like to welcome you to YouTube Marketing with Leonardo AI. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to start with is generating some YouTube channel banners. This part is tricky because we have to make sure we format the banners the right way. Since you have already taken this course, you have already learned how you can create banners, okay? And you have learned that there are some limits. There are a couple of things you have to respect when creating a banner. And so here we have a couple of examples, okay? But we need to go ahead and proceed carefully. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So I'm going to go back here into the image generation tool. And we're going to do it in two different sizes, 16 by 9 inches. So let's go, or I want you to go to this file where you're going to find all the prompts that you can use to generate as many banners as you like. So I'm going to go and take, let's just say, one, right? So I'm going to go with the gamer zone one. And I'd like to copy this. All right. So I'm going to copy this right into the Leonardo Phoenix prompt. Paste. Now I'm going to, I'm going to add another, right? Another element, which is going to be text is centered, right? Text is all centered precisely in the center, center of the design. Okay, because I want to make sure that the text is in the center. That's the first iteration. The second iteration would be to go and change the size to three by one inches. Okay, and then click generate. There are two ways of how you can work this out. Second is go to canva.com. So inside of Canva, I would like you to click on create a design. All right. So inside of Canva, look for YouTube banner. And this is usually the one you should be looking for. I've already shared with you a, a doc or PNG that can help you out when it comes to formatting your banner. But I am happy to share it again, right? You'll find it in the resources of this lecture. So if I search for banner, this is important. A reason why is because it's what's going to help you to know the limits of where the text must not or text must not exceed a certain area. We've explained this. So this is the safe area for phone. This is what people see on the phone. It's in the side of the red zone. The green zone combined with the red zone is what people see when they are looking from a computer. And the entire design is what people see on TV. Without further ado, let's go back to Leonardo. So here we go. We have the first one. So this is the first one. Now, let's actually try to format this the right way. I'm going to take the second one instead of the first. Going back into the design, I want to make sure that it's exactly inside of the print area. So first of all, let me reduce the transparency, lock the position. Then what I would like to do is simply drag this over to here. I would also like to go and reduce the transparency so that we can see if everything is in order. So if we make this image bigger, it should be in the center screen, which is perfect because it is, which means that people are going to safely be able to see Game Zone, your ultimate gaming hub, which means that this banner is now perfect. All right, perfect. Now let's generate a second banner. I'm going to duplicate the first page and remove this image. And going back to the second way to design a banner, this is the second way. So we have these designs. Pick whichever one of them you like. I'm going to pick this one. And uh, let's actually go back right here and drag it in. Okay. After you drag it in, if you try the normal way of making this bigger, you're going to notice it doesn't really fit perfectly. But if you actually reduce the transparency option on this, you can see that we're exceeding that area which is not good. So I'm going to actually bring it down to its former size. And if I, if I put it like this, it looks pretty good. So I think I'm going to go ahead and decrease it some more until it fits inside of there. And we can just grow it slightly from here, slightly from here. Now, 
we can remove the, the template right now. So people are safely going to be able to see our design, right? Like this. And if you want to make bigger, well, you can crop, but that's not going to help, doesn't it? But you can do this. You can actually color the background in a different color, right? Maybe use a kind of bluish color like this, or you can just go ahead to elements and look for some gamer images that you can supplement and put in the back. Okay. I would go with the first way to generate banners. I think that's the best way in this case. But this one is also not too bad, right? Okay, that's just in case you want to do it this way. And then you can, you can add a subscribe button down here. All right, so we can go look for subscribe. You can paste the subscribe button here by going to graphics. There's plenty of buttons. Let's say you want to pick something like this. And we can make it smaller and place it down here, right? Okay. And you can add even more elements. So this is how you generate YouTube banners. How about thumbnails? We have a couple of great examples that we want to share with you regarding thumbnails. So here, the, there are some YouTube thumbnails, right? So ultimate game review, da 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 da. So all of these are YouTube thumbnails, which we have shown you earlier. And you can generate these thumbnails using Leonardo Phoenix. So let me show you how this is done. So here, we have shared a couple of prompts with you that you can utilize. So for the most part, here we have the first one. It's a mobile review channel, a DIY projects channel, a cooking channel. All right, I like cooking, so I'm going to go ahead for the second one, right? Design a thumbnail for a cooking, cooking tutorial video. So let us go ahead and copy that one. So I'm going to paste it right here, like so. Generally, the size of a YouTube th thumbnail is found inside of Canva. It's generally landscape size. So landscape size should do perfectly. But if you want to format it perfectly, then you can generate the image inside of Canva, inside of Leonardo, and then format it in Canva, right? You can maybe add some layers to it. Now, this is about cooking. Let's say you want to add a layer. Well, you can go to elements and you can grab an element like this, right? Like this particular shape. Let me show you. And this shape here, you can actually go ahead and give it a border weight of something like this. And then you can click on the color, the green color. You can turn it transparent. And now let's say this is about cooking. It's about chocolate. Maybe you'd be interested to add the color of chocolate or the white color or something different. Maybe gray. Now I'm going to go for chocolate color. So let's go ahead and actually try to find the brown color. All right maybe this particular consistency. And then you can actually spread this across all the way here, all the way here as well, and all the way to the top, and all the way to the bottom, like so. And this can also be made, if I go back here, you can make it gradient, except for you have to change the gradient color, to, let's just say a more closer color to the color of chocolate you can also change the gradient type now let's go back to the image images generated so here we have a thumbnail ultimate chocolate cake recipe this looks fantastic and we have another one right which one of them you like is the one you should go with so i'm actually going to go ahead and download this image go back into the youtube thumbnail canva file drag your design right here Plus, when you drag a design inside of Canva, you can actually do more than just place it because you can edit the design's colors. So if I click on this image to edit it, I can go to the adjust feature and I can actually auto adjust, right? And I could scroll down, add some sharpness, and I could go ahead and position this image to back. And now it's behind that shape, which is good. And then we can go ahead right now and spread it gently across like so, all right? So as you can see, this looks pretty interesting. And we can go ahead right here and download this or just simply view it full screen. And as you might expect, this is just amazing, isn't it? So hopefully you've enjoyed this lecture so far. The next lecture will be about Twitter. So without further ado, let's get right into it. <laughs>